usimcheke, usimcheko skwevo. Hi, you're watching your favorite show, favorite morning show, favorite breakfast show. Lydia's breakfast, everything just goes a too lit and it's favorite bus. You have <laughs> us. Cindy, you at Twitter, on Facebook, at white 54 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is social for Friday. I know this was orchestrated. If I begin to talk about it, I'd like to thank everybody involved. <laughs> Nimekuona nani? Good morning, Manu. Nimekuona. Thanks. Hashtag is social Friday. Me to Val or at Color Me Val. And I promised you an interview and I'm going to deliver. So, when we are going to be in Rainbow Fast, I love to meet you share social media handles. Ndom fuati ya rakaraka. Num stock stock pole pole. I love to say now we can get into it. So, by the way, if you have a question, Good morning, man James. If you have a question, you can just throw it over there on our socials and we will direct it to her. If you have a compliment to Taka, Pierre Tampere, Yes, <laughs> zingine we katuna. Katuna. Hashtag social Friday. Bazu, tukumushe mali chakupata kwanza. Hii yangu ya tatuna faikuwa. Ndika kwa faikuwa meapa. Kama kaida vidijia kwa hivyo na social media, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Gani ngine Tinder. Wiu, 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 wiu. I have a very, very silly question just before we start the interview. And I know you guys, mnatonanga kwa TV, mnona, wow, mtoko kwa TV. No, ini job to nani. We are very, very normal. As you can see, I don't even have shoes on set. And I'm not feeling any kind of pain because it's not affecting my English. But, Khalifa ninge shoot up, asa hayo nge fire nini. Ndajifanya ni kama sijasikia. Okay, that's not breakfast talk. I'm only human. You see, we are only human. But that's not breakfast talk. Good morning, Tatiana. Good morning. How well, are you? I'm fine, fine, fine. You Thank look you. fantastic. Thank you so mm. much, dear. Oh. <laughs> Please do tell us where we can get you on social media so that we can follow you. Um, you can find me on Instagram at real t hashtag Tatiana. Um, Facebook still real Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Twitter real Tatiana. Actually, I'm still new on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I Siku wana find ni fan Twitter, so I'm still adjusting to the world of Twitter, but you can still find me there. TikTok I've just joined, of course. Hey! Yeah, so you can still follow me there. Those are my social media platforms for now. Mtu wa sema, kama uneza ongea, uneza imba. So, unasikia vya naongea, ongea vizuri, sindi? No, please. So, that means uneza imba vizuri. To test, I like being very practical. This is a class. So, would you like to just sing us just something? I don't, it doesn't have to be long, by the way, just wake us up nicely. <coughs> like any song? Sorry. Anything from your heart. I'll do my song. Okay. Because um, the reason why is because there's victory. Mm -hmm. You know, there's victory respective. Of, it doesn't matter the industry you're in. Mm -hmm. This morning, probably someone is discouraged somewhere. I'm mm -hmm. just here to tell you there's victory for you. Mm -hmm. So I'll say. Yesu wa meni pa Hamenipa ushini ninajua Hamenipa ushini je unajua Everywhere there's victory, victory, everywhere Eh, Khalifa Ili kwa ni mpe instrument, lakini ya ni ya mbibu Eh, wai, eh, fast mdujudujuj, pepe, 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 pom, 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 pom It's a good day to come to work. Muske yo sauti. Sabuni ya roho. Oh, please. Wow. <laughs> you sound so good. How is this your first song? Um, actually, it's not my first song. Mm -hmm. I did my first audio kitambo like years ago. I can say 10 years ago. Um, I was backing up someone in studio and then he just said, Tatiana, can you do a song I'll produce for you? Mm -hmm. Just audio. So I did my first song. But at that time, I was not really focused on pushing. I was not interested in music. I was just doing backup. But this one, it came, now I can say now this is my official song, mm -hmm. because uh, as we all know, the pandemic affected a lot of people. It shut down businesses. I heard you say yes. Like yeah. most, like everyone has been affected. Mm. So when I was at home and meditating and studying the word of God, because that is what the word has made me today. Um, when the Holy Spirit told me that he has given us victory, I was like, I victory man, in, in this pandemic in this situation but you know when the word of god comes it, it is it doesn't matter like the wars the wars that are happening at that time what you do is just you take that word and you run with it so when he gave me that word this victory and immediately after i prayed he gave me the song so i just began to mime to mime to mime and then next week immediately i was in studio and i did the song 
and here it is with remarkable feedback. I'm just like, sometimes it's really good to hear to the instruction of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. because of the impact of the song right now, the feedbacks, it's just mind blowing. Yeah. What kind of, <clears throat> no, who are you getting feedback from? Um, actually, um, YouTube, mm -hmm. I have Facebook, I, Instagram, because I've been pushing them on those platforms when I started. When you look at my feedbacks from the YouTube uh, comments, like most of them, I even don't know those people, you know? It's not that I used to have a YouTube account. Now I know people I am known. No. Yeah, connected. Yeah, I'm not connected. <laughs> by mm -hmm. So I'm just connected to God. But when it comes to this, whatever mm -hmm. things, I am not. So when you find someone just commenting on, the, on your YouTube, it means there's an impact. Mm -hmm. The song has impacted them. So those are the feedbacks. Like I have responded to each one of them. I think right now they're around 200 mm -hmm. comments from people. Mm -hmm. These are 200 people that I don't know. Actually, my world is very small. Mm -hmm. So when you see such kind of comments, you're like, wow, mm -hmm. really the word of God works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have a family. Yeah. You know, usually <laughs> it's, it's in reverse. Like, mtu anajichocha kwe msani, akiwa mdogo, akiwa single, ndio apparently tutulie. I don't know what's wrong. Mbona mwanaume anezaendelea tuna life, but them hadia tulia. Why is it? Like, I found it like that. Hi, ancestors, it's okay. How is it that you have found the, the strength and the time, you know, mm. to now do what you were doing 10 years ago with a family, with a baby and a husband? How are you managing all this? Um... Actually, number one, um, priority, knowing mm -hmm. how to prioritize things in life. Because I believe women, we have the ability. You know, when I say Manganomi, they cannot multitask, but women, we can. Mm -hmm. It's just that how you organize yourself, how you organize things. Because I'm not just a mom. Like, I'm a wife, I'm a mother of two children, we're toddlers, one year, three years. So they are in a stage that Man. really need my attention. Eh, those ones that bounce off the walls yeah, with energy. <laughs> Majimoto, uku, you Oi. know, they're just everywhere. Mm. But you see, with the grace of God, I'm able. But apart from all those things, priority. Mm -hmm. Learn to prioritize things. Like, in my life, my family, you know, they come first. I have to put my family first. I know the time, like, I'm supposed to be in studio at this time. I'm supposed to be at home at this time. I have a schedule whereby that I need to follow it. And it cannot, like, distract me. Like, can I tell my husband, no. Says if I am busy, no, or I tell my kids, like, mom is not here, no. When I'm at home, is mom, like, I have responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in studio now, is Tatiana, this hey. is business. The same way as you, mm -hmm. my dear, like, when you're at home, Manzi is talking and all that, you know, no makeup, you know, but when you're at work, mm -hmm. now is work, mm -hmm. like, deal with it like work so that's how I manage it. And like, the way you've asked me, so many people have asked me, like, how do you manage? Apart from that, you're into business, you're doing this and this and all, everything in your life is running. So when you just prioritize, you pray, you know, because most of all you get guidance from God. You cannot do anything without the ability of God, without the wisdom of God. And yes, that is what has made me stand out and to be able to handle everything at once. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you look so good though? <laughs> no, you, you have to choose. Miss Jazan and oh. Oh, <laughs> eh? How did you do it? How did you do it? Oh, okay. Uh huh. Like, I just let me say, I have that body. Like, when I even gave birth to my first child daughter, mm -hmm. I was like, three months, four months down the line, my body had just gone back. It's not because of dieting, it's not because of uh uh. But one thing, me, I'm a Christian. Let me tell you the secret, by mm -hmm, the way. Mm -hmm. One of the secret things that I've believed the power of words. You know, over the years I've been confessing, I have the best body. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to have like, like Vera Siddika one or mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. But you see the confession, whatever you say will come to pass. If you can put the word of God in any circumstance, it can work for your body. Mm. It's possible. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I confess, like, I miss it. Like, see, beat, I refuse to age. Hey. I'm in the ageless zone. Hey. So that is what, like... You know, your words, your, your life locate your words. Mm -hmm. So whatever that thing you say, in a kufuata tu, no, I come to you like a, a, a five-year-old and I joy, you are the mom, mm -hmm. like, let's say five months old. Mm -hmm. So wherever they see you, they follow you. When I crawl or kufuata, that's how your words, your words will always follow you. Mm. So if you say your manze is in a body poor, eh, that is how your life will be. Mm -hmm. But you say I have the best body. I'm ageless. I'm not, I'm not aging, you know, I'm, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm beautiful all the day. Like, those are the kind of confessions I make. So it's more than just now the, the things we do and, uh, you know, uh, uh, 
is first of all, what do you see? Because mm -hmm. you might be saying something negative, but you're putting so much energy and resources on now buying products that don't work. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of your words. So the words that you say every day to yourself, to your body, to your health, they really matter. They will automatically come to fruition. Khalifa, it's time to practice. We see, <laughs> see, we are practical. So I re repeat after me. <laughs> Nikona pesa! Woo! I have money. Money, follow me. Like banana. No. Money, follow me. So say it. No, no, we can't help you now, Khalifa. <laughs> okay, so how is it? How did, did you expect it to be like this? Did you expect the feedback? Did you expect the, I want to say fame, because you're, you're a bit famous now. <laughs> yeah, did you expect it? Okay, I would say in, in terms of fame, I will not say. What I, I was figuring out the way like I received the song, I knew it's a song that will hit so many people. Because as I said earlier, the pandemic has affected a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So right now, I don't to say Corona, Corona. I don't to say that word, you know? So everyone wants to hear that word that will lift them up. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to hear that word that, and you irrespective of all this, God cares for me. And God has me in mind. Because sometimes even Christians themselves work in this situation and you want to doubt. But I knew when I'm releasing this song by the Spirit of God, it will lift so many souls. So I saw it reaching and exploding. Like even right now, Bado. It wow. has to explode, like mm -hmm. really. Because it's, it's a word from God. It, it is a song that has been born from the Spirit. So and something that has been born from the Spirit, nothing can stop it. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to more feedbacks, more testimonies, you know, like I'm selling by your song and immediately, like I was telling people, the more you say that song, the Lord has given me victory. Mind you, it's a testimony, it's a confession. So the more you sing it out, it doesn't matter. The more you sing, you begin to experience victory in your life. Mm -hmm. Automatically. I like that you brought in the secular aspect because very recently, in the industry to mona gospel na secular kifanya collab <laughs> off the top of my head naweza fikiria masterpiece na papa jones and i think it's to me why don't come shoot me this is not a, an opinion for white 254 or why in the morning it's just me i think it's wonderful that tunaweza part up we, we remember that we are human all of us first mm -hmm. regardless of what we believe or how we believe it and i like that papa jones kuna okay acha ni simple promo but let me come back to you. Is that something you, you would be comfortable with? Or is that something that is not really a, a, a market you'd like to tap into? Um, based to my upbringing, the spiritual upbringing, I'll say, and I'll use the scripture, because at the end of it, at a secular gospel, God akutuma Bible, secular Bible. You know? Kwa it is only one Kalifa, gospel. Kalifa, Kalifa, effect. <laughs> <laughs> Una la la. Yeah. Well, volume yenu iko sawa huko ama ama tuongeze huko. Just ask him for it. Hey. Ama ni nini? Anaweza saha words. Okay. Cut it. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll repeat that one. Like God did not say now this Bible is for secular. Na ina gospel. We only have one word. And the word of God is light. And where there is light, darkness cannot comprehend it. Mhm. Mm so therefore, there is no way, now this is my perspective and how I understand the scripture and how I understand the things of God. So there's no way light and darkness can come and compile. Mm -hmm. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. It's either one will be dimmed or the other one will receive light. Mm -hmm. You understand? So for me as a gospel artist, there's no way I can come in partnership with a secular artist and release song. Mm -hmm. Remember gospel, I think a lot of um, music ministers or meanza kuchukulia like, Maybe gospel as a light thing. Mm -hmm. But when you understand that the, the gospel is the word of God, is the true word of God, is the true definition of the word of mm -hmm. God. So whether you're in secular, you must have always that moment of, as in like the word of God, it should rejuvenate you. Mm -hmm. And if it rejuvenates you, automatically whatever will come out of you is the word. So it was in a G. But me, you know, when you meditate upon the word of God, what will come out of you is that word. Mm -hmm. So there's no way like you will mix the two. Me, I don't like. I mm -hmm. cannot. Nearly interview Holy Dave Jana, 
And Holy Dave said he has morning devotion from around 6 to 7 a.m. every day. Mm -hmm. And he said the reason why he does it is because early in the morning at Kawi's Dom, so by the time he's going out to social media platforms or, you know, to other people, mm -hmm. he, has, he has something to give because he's inspired himself. Yeah. How often do you have devotion? I, all the time. Mm -hmm. Like all the time, I will not lie. Mm -hmm. I have messages and messages on my phone. It's not even morning devotion, as in it's my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Worshipping and um, that relationship with God and the Holy Spirit is my lifestyle. I cannot tell you that I do at this specific time and this. Anytime, like anytime you find me, I'm praying. You know, prayer is, is no longer that at a, Lazima, you go on your knees, you know, a sacred place, mm -hmm. wherever you are. Even right now, you can talk to God. Mm -hmm. So, me, I always have that fellowship with the Holy Spirit every time. Because any, every time you have that fellowship, Ukisha build that, and it's like a father and a daughter. Or, yeah, father and daughter is a perfect one because mm -hmm. daddy's girl, you know. Mm -hmm. you know, That bond, you can never break it. So, when you have that kind of a bond with God, trust you me, your antenna, your spirit will always be alert to know what to do, where to do, where to invest, what song to release, what to do at every time of your life. So mine is, is a lifestyle, as in that fellowship. I don't have specific time that mm -hmm. I have fellowship. Any time I pray, any time I worship, any time I, I have that fellowship with the Holy Spirit. What's your most vulnerable moment as a person? What's that kama msani, kama mami, kama wife? Just as a person, what's your most vulnerable time? Um, when I'm speaking in tongues, mm -hmm. yeah, I, that time I shut everything, you know, even my kids know when I'm praying <laughs> that time, they know, uh -huh. like she's a three year old, she'll tell the, the boy, his name is Francis, don't go there, mama naomba, Aww. you know, they know because there's mm. that time and you pure nataka like to just roar, you just need to let it go, let it out, so that I just shut my door mm -hmm. and no disturbance. Even my husband knows like there's that time I just tell him, I say you just go and watch your movie. I need some time alone, mm -hmm. and I take time. I pray. So the best time is that time when I'm speaking in tongues. Just I'm there, me myself and I mm -hmm. is an alone time with God. I have come to understand that there are a lot of people who suffer from anxiety. Now we do come out COVID, you know, COVID came and, and slapped everybody and told us to stay at home. It's a, it's a thief. It's like a, an unwanted guest that started telling us what to do in our own homes. Mm -hmm. At he wash hands, at he disinfect, social distancing and all these things. Have you, no, because you don't look anxious. What is the dawa? Dawa ya anxiety ni gani? Because you're so confident, you're so sure. You're, you're very still, <laughs> if that's that's really the best one I can use. You're very still. So how do we get from anxiety to stillness? Um, when you have the Holy Spirit, every doubt, every anxiety in your life just, it just goes down. Mm -hmm. No matter that's why I've brought that point of praying in tongues. I, I, you know, there's something that most people, they like, uh, you know, praying in tongues is not for everyone. But me, I tell you, like, like, I know anxiety comes, you know. Every time, like, you're in a situation in life, it comes probably receive a, a bad call, that thing just wells up from you. Mm -hmm. But you see, how do you bring it down? Personally, I speak in tongues. I'll tell you. There's no... At a landlord, I just... Imagine I find peace in God. Mm -hmm. That's how I've trained myself. The same way you can go to school, they train you. There's a system, yo, you lazimo fuate. That is now me. Mm -hmm. It's a system where I just choose to relax. You know, because that I'm able to be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. But in prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. So why worry? You know, God and I'm the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Where value ko api? Kati kati. So why worry? Mm. You know, like an example when an insect is walking, I can just give us a best example. And then there's a car, a car stone there, and you, you are standing there. You know, in end. So because in you know, on a giant in front of him, you know, sani ni acha ni zunguke. But you know, one to know, like, okay, see, pande to That's how you're reasoning in your mind. See, pande to your mind, lafi yende. That's how God sees. It's not that we are that small, but God and Atonevo, in terms of, we are just in between. What He needs us to do is just ask Him, God, what should I do? What is the way out? And in Christ, there's always a way out of any situation. I just told in a landlord, there's always a way out in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And God can never even allow you to experience something that you are not prepared for. So when it comes to tough up, chin up, chest out, face it. Mm. You know, like God, you, I have, you have my back, like I can never be disadvantaged, I can never experience shame. 
Those are the things Nasema in terms of confession. When you confess such things, you'll never experience shame in your life. You'll never be disadvantaged in life. Never. Mm. Never. Mm -hmm. So these are my daily confession, daily contemplation, daily, you know, they just keep me going. So whatever the situation that comes, I just laugh. I'm like, they've all bad you know. And that's always my confidence, no matter what. No matter what. Even if it comes to my family, my kids, sometimes you see some symptoms of what, what, what. I'm always confident that it can never happen for my children. Never. Why? Because I'm a child of God. I'm a Christian. I'm a joint heir with Christ Jesus. My children, my family, they cannot be disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. So that's where I find my peace. And that's why I never have anxiety. I hope I'm not take notes. Should we just wait and, and for you to just continue writing Mom Kosal? But you can also catch the interview again at White Five Four channel on YouTube. Now, before we get to, because I have one more question on the video, but I do have another question preceding it. Okay. And in my life, the way I'm living it and experiencing it, So Nani liye ni seme woi na itakasa ya ginda kufaus pon pe ay 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 alafu ni sahau perhaps amani give up amani jambe tu ni sawa liwe liwa liwalo and then ten years later I sit down and think haya 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 yo kitu ni kwana mbe yo tape kumbendo yoi ala and and I've seen quite a number of people I want to put it in quotes give up unaskiam to a gospel maybe i'm a quit ju historia mlete pesa and i guess that's the whole point of being an artist if you're going to because studio is free you know i know eh kupush ngoma si free yeah trying to be out there trying to make a name for yourself performing pre covid was not free as in yeah so how how would you like to address the giving up part um first of all i'll say a christian should never give up we don't give up, we don't give in, we don't back out if you're a Christian, a true Christian. Because if God has really called you to be a minister of the gospel, remember now, like he has not just called you as an individual. I could call out like a minister. So it's no longer about me. It's about his will. Mm. So when you give up, it's like giving up the will of God at work in your life. It's like now dropping everything that God has put in you, the trust, the ability, the grace. And then, of course, Pia, when you're giving up, you're like trying to show that any grace of God is not working in my life. Which should not be the case. Mm -hmm. As a music minister, especially a gospel music minister, what you're doing, you're bringing forth, the way Pasiwan is a preach, them, they're preaching with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Like preaching, preaching. But for us as music ministers, we are preaching using music. Is ministration here music whereby he can preach this word in you know, hallelujah, what, what, what. Mm -hmm. But I can do it in music, whereby it will affect lives. So when you know that this is administration, don't give up. No matter how tough it is, it is administration and it's a calling and your God and your quitter. And what you need to focus on is delivering it to your level best. You know, mm -hmm. like the same I can give example to the, those, your parable, your talents called Bible. You know, 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 you So the question is, who are you? Mm -hmm. Who are you in those three? So don't, of course, Nike Manisha, when God gives you something, it does not mean that challenges do not come. Mm -hmm. Challenges are bread for life. Mm -hmm. They are our stepping stone to the next level in life. Mm -hmm. So there should never be an excuse or any, a thought of you now giving up or backing out. Irrespective of what you stick to it and ensure that there's responsibility and your God, I'll ensure that it comes to pass and I'll ensure that I multiply it, I'll ensure that I increase it to the level and your God and attacker. Mm -hmm. So I don't encourage any Christians to, to back out or to give up. Usiangalia Pia, like you have said, maybe it's not bringing in money, it's more than money. Mm -hmm. It's more than money. Like I can say right now, me, my focus is not that at all. Music is investment, you're investing so much. And why are you doing that? Because God has called you to do it. And uh, apart from it, I can even say personally, is out of the love I have for God. Mm -hmm. You know? Your passion and your connect for the things of God, it makes me now, if my music, I can put money in my music, it reaches so many people that I'm able to reach them in my physical contact. Why not do it? Mm -hmm. And don't look at, okay, something's up, something's up, you make it. No, 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 no. I can even tell you, I didn't even calculate how much I've spent on this just victory song in terms of marketing, in terms of I've spent so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm not looking at the impute. Mm -hmm. What I'm looking at is the impact mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. result. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. think that is, 
like music ministers on afa angalie they should not like look at the end product ile pesa mm -hmm. because pia bible inasema there is profit in every labor mm -hmm. so you continue laboring there is profit profit may not come in as a, as in form of money of other blessings remarkable blessings in your life opportunities like me here being today these are opportunities mm -hmm. you know why god ordained like now this interview to happen because i believe there is someone there who's listening to me mm -hmm. that after this their lives will be eternally changed for good mm -hmm. you know and that, if that is the purpose why i'm here i'm good to go okay briefly briefly the last thing cuz we are running out of time thank you so help much. me understand the the storyline behind the video juko na time mono una salute hapo kuna zingine una ka doli una tuimbia hapo yeah maybe just briefly walk us through that um as i said earlier victory came as a result of what was happening in the world mm -hmm. and when the holy spirit said of course now victory is now saluting you now is victory you mm. know there's no when a smanga there's no victory without a shout value is in ambia to me fry like you know eh is it not for me i'm so extra <laughs> 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 so there's always that you need mm. to express it so like we are saluting now to god to the victory that he has given us that's you are saying victory victory everywhere irrespective of where you are this victory mm -hmm. that's what i was saying in your family in your business in the churches especially and in the nations all around the world mm -hmm. so the storyline there is just let me say is victory as the song says victory mm -hmm. because e pandemic it's not here to stay amen but victory Ooh. is here to stay mm. so that's why i sang the song and i believe it will continue blessing so many people mm -hmm. and let them keep on sending the feedbacks via my social media if they have videos they can send give give social media again social media <laughs> uh -huh. you can follow me yes on uh, facebook real tatiana on instagram real tatiana um twitter real tatiana so if you have amazing feedbacks keep them keep them coming in the videos you know of you dancing of you celebrating to that song just tag me I'll tag me and i'll see the video mm -hmm. yes and i'll truly appreciate for the comments and the feedbacks mshaskia vitumbichi victory I, I don't know anything else that rhymes with that unfortunately ni mechoma but ni sawa at what platform facebook at what five four channel on twitter hashtag is why in the morning hashtag social this social friday thank you so very much tatiana for coming now so let much. us show you what she was talking about victory